students here we have sodium hydroxide NaOH formula it is so when sodium hydroxide it is a as we know it is a base sodium hydroxide and it it will get dissolved in water it will dissociates into sodium cation we identify cation with this positive sign and here hydroxide anion with the negative sign let's see how sodium hydroxide pellets look like so it is actually in the form of pellets only so i'm taking few okay can you see sodium hydroxide it is in the pellet form only so if i'll take few okay if i'll take few and if, what happen if i'll dissolve it into water so i have in the beaker i put this now i have water i have water now i'm putting pouring a little bit of water and now let's see the sodium hydroxide pellet it is still in the water and it is getting dissolving here and as i can see there is warmth earlier it was cold to touch but now it is warms it is exothermic reaction so this is the example of also exothermic reaction that when sodium hydroxide get dissolved in water it creates warmth you can touch by it you will feel the warmth this is also an example of exothermic reaction so now from the universal ph i have taken one strip and let's see what color it will show so i have this ph now i'll take a little bit of this and now i'll pour it here so you can see the color is blue itself so let me take a little more so you can see now it is totally dissolved now i am taking the sodium hydroxide solution here let's see the universal ph is changing its color getting students so let's see here take the ph paper so in the ph paper sodium hydroxide is highly basic and you can match its color is you can match its color is 14 highly alkaline yeah can you see so students this is the solution of sodium hydroxide solution it is totally get solubilized now sodium hydroxide pellets it was and since it is a basic in nature so its color got completely changed and it is 14 higher than 7 as we know it is basic in nature okay